YouTube viewers, welcome to another uh, additional War Robots test server. This is version 5.0.0, package 620. Uh, here we're going to see pilots and machine gun rework. I put the machine guns on an Ares. Uh, not particularly good build, but uh, just demonstrate what the uh, machine gun build will be like. The pilots are the interesting part. Unfortunately, there'll be a big resource sink of uh, silver and gold probably. You can upgrade the levels with gold. Hopefully they're reasonable. This is Renzu. Uh, this is a basic pilot. So if you ever thought you were the pilot, no, I guess there's an actual pilot. The ones that are colored orange or gold are the premium ones. So let's say you want to increase his level, right? So basically you can do that with gold. Uh, it costs zero on the test server it will cost uh, gold, real gold in the live server so um, the pilot will learn a skill suited to this configuration sure alright so you promote and then uh, you train um, bounty hunter Hades so basically now you've uh, locked him to I guess the Hades um, So I guess unfortunately uh, once you start specializing uh, they start now, now it's gonna cost even more gold again zero for the test server it'll cost more later in the real server so you get a lot of choices that's an incredible amount of choices um, oh. That's an enormous amount of choices here. So let's say um, a lot of active module. Oh, that's a lot of choices here. This incredible number of choices. Um, uh, let's go for increased durability. Okay, so it has a skill. Um, okay, so it has potentially three skills to add. That's, uh, that's a lot. Right, and then here's uh, some. Um, so here's one where you get a buff, but you also get a nerf as well. So it's not always a positive thing. You get increased damage, but your durability is lowered by 10%. So let's increase the skill level. All right. One more. Okay, so now you can have more buffs, increase speed, increase durability. So you can undo that decrease in durability, I suppose. Um, I see, so the amount is very small, 0.5% damage. Box on a target is faster. See what happens when we um, decrease cost. Oh, I see. So maximum's a quarter. All right. Let's keep increasing the uh, skill level to twenty-one, and then let's see what uh, additional skills there could be. So it can have increased speed, you can have durability, um, gunsmith, 
Oh, all active modules last longer, they recharge faster. Um, Boosting that. What does it cost? What does that replace? Oh, that replaces uh, that replaces the ability. So that's not necessarily good. Okay, so let's get back to this one. So yeah, so when you replace, it can it can replace the skill. So let's keep going up. Oh, I see. So as you go up, oh, I see. So the retrain is just a one-time thing, and as you go up, it, it it keeps increasing its level. Okay, when you retrain, it replaces a skill. This is now at max level. So I guess everything else has to be acquired through battles or experience okay so and then you're going to reveal more story okay all right and then some are uh, like this one here get a berserker uh, so i see so you go up next level retrain replaces the skill level um uh, replaces the skill Um, let's say increase damage, increase durability, let's do a repair. Okay, so you can do a repair. All right, and then uh, let's, um, so these premium are locked to a certain uh, type of robot, right? Like uh, Ninji Novak is locked to an Ares. And then now the basic, the basic pilots, like this one here, is now specific to, to Hades. But it doesn't have a basic benefit buff. Right? Uh, so it's got the retrainable ones, but it doesn't have the buffs that are the unique skill. Okay? Right, so let's take a look at uh, this person, it's specific to Bulwark. So they all active modules recharge faster. Wow, that's a lot more, 40%. Okay, one more. Let's see if we can get a flat, get a heal. Increase durability, increase durability, but weapon damage lowered. So in other words, that's a buff, but that's at the same time a nerf. Now the elements related to beacons is not as useful in uh, team deathmatch or free for all. to choose from okay so this is a energy shot field charges faster okay let's let's activate that Unfortunately, it means that you, okay, so retrain would change the trait, so let's just increase the trait. This certainly increases the gap between uh, those who are free to play and pay to play. Okay, 
And then lastly, um, this is the mechanic, Carl Rogers. Instantly repair. So let's uh, instantly repair. It's going to cost a lot of gold. Alright, let's um, choose what we want here. Increase speed, increase durability, increase weapon damage. A lot of this is a lot of uh, passive modules in terms of value. So it's like more passive modules. Alright, let's choose this one. When it activates its ability, it repairs a portion of its maximum durability. Alright. Keep increasing that. Alright, that's enough. Uh, let's uh, move on and uh, go into battle. So it's essentially that the purchase of the premium pilots is gold. And then um, going up each level, promoting, is more gold. So that's going to be a big gold sink. And... Uh, and uh, to go up each additional level could be more and more gold or silver. Let's hope some of that can be achieved by play rather than just gold or silver. Right? Well, hopefully we'll get a battle and try this out. Taking a long time to find a battle. I'm going to play rather aggressively. Uh, this is quick match is the only option available, so it could be any mode, any map. Uh, so be aware that um, I'm going to play rather aggressively so you can see hopefully more of the robots in action. No new robots and only the machine gun rework. Okay, here we go, finally. You get a battle. And it's Springfield Team Deathmatch. So some of those beacon skills um, or beacon related activation skills won't be useful. Alright, so uh, let's start first with the Bulwark. Alright, as I said, I might move on to other robots. Okay, so it's, there's some um, that, that crazy mechanic, uh, so it'll rebuild the shield faster. Kills the shield fast one. Oh, I'm under conversion damage. Yeah, it does feel like the shield is rebuilding the regenerating faster. I might want to choose some other um, skill because uh, the, the shield already rebuilds by itself. Rebuilding faster, eh, some benefit, but. Um, it's not unique. Okay, so I can last quite a long time in this robot with this shield rebuilding faster. Real quick. Now, locking on faster might be a benefit if you're using a uh, lockdown weapon. Uh, 
slash. Yeah. Won't be able to test that out because it's out in the open. Okay, let's change robots, alright? So we can see other see the Aljun and Ashton. Now it'll be increased damage but reduced durability. Do better landing, I think, rather than getting to danger. A uh, decreased uh, cooldown might be helpful. I'm getting in trouble whenever I land. Yeah, so decreased cooldown might be really useful for the Aojun. But when you retrain, you might get reset back and all the gold that you used up gets wasted. So decreased durability, increased damage with this particular pilot. So let me change robots again. Let's go into an Ares. Let's also see this machine gun rework. I don't notice anything different in particular. Um, maybe because I'm not using machine guns frequently, so I can't tell. generic pilot or the basic pilot or non-premium pilot. Let's see if it does any damage here over five years. Not very much. We're getting a lockdown. rather aggressively and change robot it yet again to the last, uh, the Inquisitor. Now this is the Kyle Rogers, that frequent storyline in YouTube. Then when I have that ability, special ability, um, it will do repair once it's in stealth mode, once it activates ability. It will also do repair. So let's give that a try. get into a situation where we need to repair. We did now. We changed a lot of robots, as, um, so it might not be as much damage as the others, and played rather aggressively. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this test server, 2019, April 27th and 28th.